Fighting for survival, one woman recounts the nearly three years she was sex trafficked. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas spoke with her about her journey from victim to survivor and how an arrest by Monroe County law enforcement helped her gain her freedom. Lacey Goldsmith is a wife, a mother of three children, and a certified nursing assistant. It's great, you know, the life I have now where I'm not, you know, just trying to survive the next minute and second and everything like that. Her dream life started as a nightmare. 29 year old Lacey is a survivor of sex trafficking. When she was 22, she says her friend recommended she become an escort for extra money. The job would seal her fate with her trafficker, John Gollum. He didn't make it obvious exactly what was going to happen until it was too late. She says Gollum used the tactic of grooming where the trafficker builds trust in order to manipulate the victim. I still didn't 100% know that I was being trafficked because my trafficker would constantly say things that, you know, these guys do. He would say, oh, well, the door is always open. You can leave if you want. But she couldn't leave his control and for nearly three years, Lacey was sex trafficked in her home state of Florida, New York, and in the Poconos. She became pregnant. Gollum used her newborn child as a way to keep her from leaving him. If you don't work, you know, I'm going to take your baby away from you. If you don't work, you know, I'm going to send your baby away and I'm going to tell them that you're hurting your baby and then you'll have to go to jail too. She was eventually caught in a sting operation by Detective Kim Lippincott, who was with the Monroe County District Attorney's Office. That was in 2018. She got away, but was later taken into custody with Gollum in New York. Gollum is now in federal prison, convicted on federal sex trafficking offenses. It was Detective Lippincott who helped reveal that Lacey was a victim and not a criminal. Lacey began to heal and turn her life around through programs designed to help turn sex trafficking victims into survivors. She was finally reunited with her family in September of 2019. Bloom for Women is a program based in Bethlehem. It provides a sanctuary for women of trafficking and exploitation. It's very similar to the program that helped Lacey. The CEO says there are misconceptions about sex trafficking victims. They may think, well, why didn't they just run away or why don't they just leave? It's not that simple. Um, while the Me Too movement created opportunities for women to be believed and other victims, you know, to come forward and share their story and be believed, oftentimes the victim is blamed. Lacey's story will hopefully bring awareness to the problem of sex trafficking in our communities. In the Poconos, Sydney Costas, 2822 Eyewitness News. Anderson says people need to be aware of the signs that somebody may be the victim of trafficking. We have more information on that on PAHomepage.com. Now, if you suspect someone you know is being trafficked, contact the National Human Trafficking Hotline at the phone number on your screen.